over 3,500 years, people in Egypt used hieroglyphs to write their language. For most of that time, a scribe would have to learn about 800 signs in order to be able to read and write well. Many ordinary people, however, would only be able to read and write their own names, and could recognize the names of their kings, which were written in a loop that we call a cartouche. However, hieroglyphs do not represent letters so much as sounds. When writing their names, Egyptians could sometimes take shortcuts and write the symbols for gods or common words, but when writing the names of foreigners, they would have to sound the names out. This could be difficult since other languages sometimes have sounds that Egyptians found hard to make. Not all languages have the same sounds. Sometimes the Egyptians just had to get as close as they could to the sound of the foreign name. When you write your own name in hieroglyphs, it's important to sound it out, not write it letter for letter. Sometimes a sound can be spelled different ways. For example, George and Judith both start with a just sound. Write out your name on a piece of scrap paper. If there are letters in your name that are not sounded out, you don't write them in hieroglyphs. If you find any, put a line through them. Some hieroglyphs stand for two letters. Look for these letter combinations and circle them. Underline any double letters in your name that are only pronounced once. Write out your name again using the sounds in your name instead of the letters. Remember the three tricky things to watch out for. Use the hieroglyph key to find hieroglyphs to match each sound in your name. Write each hieroglyph beneath the corresponding sound. Figure out a nice arrangement for your hieroglyphs. They can run either left to right or up and down, and the ancient Egyptians liked their names to look nice, so they would try to group the signs to fit into a neat square or rectangle. Once you've figured out how your hieroglyphs are arranged, draw them out on a clean sheet of paper. If you'd like it to be neat, you can use pencil first and go over it with marker later. Enclose your name in a cartouche if you want people to know that you are royalty. Once you've finished, we'd love to see how you did. Show off your hieroglyph in your best Egyptian pose, and don't forget to tweet us a photo!